morning. It is Saturday. It's my first real day in Hong Kong. I arrived last night, but didn't get to explore that much. The weather is, as far as I can tell, looking like standard Hong Kong weather. Sort of gloomy. Maybe that's why the British were drawn here initially. Anyway, I'm gonna do lots of exploring today, but first, I gotta get some breakfast. In case you didn't watch the video from yesterday, I am staying in Wan Chai. Um, so for breakfast, I decided to wander the area until I found some place that looks good. This is where I'm going. All right, that breakfast was excellent. A little unusual for me. There's <laughs> eggs, noodles, and uh, spicy pork. It was good though. But the highlight was milk tea. Oh, so good. Um, now, I'm going to get myself an energy drink, get myself some caffeine, wake up, and head to Soho. I believe I'm now walking through central Hong Kong. The buildings are changing drastically to these tall glass skyscrapers, and I see a lot of people in suits, a lot of fancy shops. This is definitely the downtown like financial business area. All right, we're taking a detour. We're gonna go to Hong Kong Park. There are steps there and there are seats. But am I brave enough to go in? I think I'm gonna do it. Definitely gonna get wet, but here we go. in here right now. This is the Olympic Square. It was built to commemorate the opening of the Olympic Games. And there's no one in here. We're not that high up but there's nothing immediately next to this tower that's really tall. <laughs> so you get this beautiful 360 view of the peak area up there, all the way over to the harbor. So far, Hong Kong Park, you've been magnificent. No, no, I haven't even seen all of it yet. There's an aviary right there. I'm hoping to see some cool birds in slow-mo. That aviary was very, very cool. There was a high risk of getting pooped on though. And you can see right here, many birds <laughs> were just pooping everywhere. I mean, that's their home, why not? Luckily I didn't get pooped on. I'm happy with that. Uh, another detour on my way to Soho. I figured why not, right? I'm in the mammal area now, and I suspect that, that noise that you're hearing is some sort of primate. <laughs> that 
is so cool. I read on the little sign, those are siamangs. They're part of the gibbons family of monkeys. <laughs> and they're able to make those noises because they have those, those sacks that they can inflate and resonate. <laughs> it's such a cool noise. I'm sure it's annoying the crap out of the other monkeys in the area. But I love it. That was so cool. I don't know if this actually goes through to where I need it to, but let's check. Moment of truth. Oh, this is so cool. It went through. And it looked really cool. That's, that is why you explore off the beaten path. Still on the hunt for lunch. I went to Long Kwai Fong, didn't see anything that really piqued my interest. So keep walking, keep looking. I think I may have found my option, my best option. There's some street food up here that I see. I'm gonna hit that up. This is exactly what I was looking for. The most difficult part finding a place to eat um, on this street. It was funny menu that had uh, English. Uh, I ended up getting some fish balls, noodle soup. I'm looking forward to it. Cool that. That hit the spot. Now, after that amazing lunch, we're gonna go up here. These are the mid-level travelators. I guess they're essentially escalators, but uh, until they installed these, the people that commuted back and forth to work had to either terrain up and down the hills or take a big circle line bus that took them way out of the way. So the city decided to install these and they're some of the longest in the world, if not the longest, I remember. But they take you uh, up the hill since the elevation change is so large. because this is where all the interesting stuff is at. I believe that this is Soho. Again, everything in this video is you're gonna just have to like, go off of my word. I've never been here. I'm just exploring, but I think this is Soho. It's a pretty nice area, but I'm glad I ate lunch where I did. A lot of really nice restaurants here, but not what I was looking for. Guys, uh, if you watched my year of vlogs, you saw when I was in Copenhagen, I went to this beer bar, this brewery, because I love beer. I love craft beer. Well, I'm just walking here on Hollywood Street, Hollywood Boulevard, I don't remember, and I see Brew Dog. If you watch this, this vlog from when I was in Copenhagen, they have this beer that they don't sell anymore, but it was served in a squirrel. The bar in Copenhagen had one. This is the company that made it, and they have a brew pub here in Hong Kong. I will be back here tonight. I will. Just a little history of my day today so far. Um, from Lang Kwai Fong, walk over to Soho, and walk down Hollywood Road. And now I'm here, Man Mo Temple. Let's go inside. It was beautiful inside. I know there are other temples here in Hong Kong. I want to explore all of them, especially if they're like that or better. Now I'm here on Cat Street, which is all antiques. So I'm looking at, I'm looking for a, a vintage watch. I haven't found anything yet, but I'm looking for it.
my wall center. B2. That is where I am heading next. So the reason I came to this building, they have an elevator that goes up uh, the outside of the building, an express elevator, and the views are apparently beautiful. So that's what I'm trying to find. All right, here we go. I'm not going to the Grand Buffet. I just want to ride the elevator. There's really nothing up here. There's that, that restaurant and some offices up here, but it's really, I just came up here for that elevator ride. Wasn't that gorgeous? Let's go back down and see the reverse. Like I said before, it's really just an elevator, but worth doing. Going up, going down, it's very quick. You come to the Hopewell Center, you have to come up to the 17th floor first. And then once you're up here, look for the Grand Buffet sign and just take those elevators. I think now I'm gonna go to Causeway Bay, which is like the big shopping area. A lot of Western uh, shops, international shops. They have a, a Times Square there. That's where I'm gonna head now. Same as Times Square back home, but you know, it's it's cool. It's all right. There are people on that roof right there. So I. I'm going to see if there's a way to get up there. You know, you guys know I love rooftops. All right, here are the stairs, I think. Let's just go up. That's where I just was in the mall. I did make it up to the roof, because I saw these guys, hey guys William and Matt. Hey <laughs> they live here. They're French, but they live here go to school here they did go to school here but I made it up to the roof and I'm really happy the view is amazing uh, gave him some stickers <laughs> that was worth it I saw them from across the way and I came over that was cool they were cool guys this is called Jardine's Bazaar it's mostly clothing but it's like a little street market. Everything's tightly packed and stuff. Pretty cool. Well, I came over here to try to get out to the water at Victoria Harbor again. But it looks like there's more construction down here. Maybe this is just construction season. Tomorrow though. Tomorrow I'm going to take the Star Ferry over to Kowloon. So, we'll get some good views then. All right, I am back, like I promised. I really hope they have food. Cheers. Well, BrewDog was everything I hoped it would be and more. I was very happy. Thank you, BrewDog. The beer was excellent. Tomorrow, I will be exploring Kowloon, which is the other half of Hong Kong, just north of here, across Victoria Harbor. I'm really looking forward to, to exploring Kowloon, and it's only day two here in Hong Kong, day two of seven. Yes, I'm so excited. Today was great, but I'm beat, so I'm heading back to the hostel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bonus features, I'm on the roof of my hostel. <laughs> I've quickly discovered that if you are in a residential building in Hong Kong, you can almost certainly get to the roof. You just gotta take the stairs. This is absolutely beautiful. <laughs>